Hey there you, welcome back to another video. This is an Oracle card reading and it's just for you. Yeah, it is for you. Why is it for you? Because you're here right now watching it. Think about this. You're looking at the reading and listening to the reading through your personal life. This is going to be personal to you because you're going to contemplate what it means to you and why it's happening at this time in your life. You're going to be thinking about your intentions, right? You're going to be thinking about your relationships, the things that are on your mind, how you've been feeling lately. You're going to be thinking all sorts of things that are all related to you. The world around you is a personal experience that you're having. In fact, I'm not really even a real person in a very big way. I'm just something that you're experiencing through your own language, your own education, your own emotional experiences, your own learnings and whatever whoever and however you are right now is how you are experiencing this reading so uh sit back and relax because there is nowhere you can go where you're not going to experience something personally it's all personal to you uh you know this is true you know it is you know that you're having your own thoughts and your own emotions right now and that when the card comes out it's going to Sparkle up some of those. Let's look at it. Make a decision. What? A decision on what? All I'd have to say is make a decision. And what pops up? All the different things that you've been focusing on that you feel like you need to decide something about. Make it. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Now look, we all know what we're waiting for. We're waiting for this part. What's that? This is the joyful part of the wing. We're waiting to figure out why we should decide things in a certain way. We want to make sure that we pick our decisions based on getting some type of golden outcome for ourselves and for the people around us, right? We want to make sure that we consider all the intricacies. Look at all the little animals here. Look how intricate the card is. Brian, I've got to make this decision and I'm not sure what it's all going to mean if I make it. Oh no. Too complicated. I don't want to think about it. Oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if that? Oh, make a decision. Look, one nice thing about the decision is that it's all filled with these yike. Look at these little happy little animals. They're everywhere. A variety of animals are coming up to say hello to you. What does that mean? It means when you make your decision, a variety of experiences are going to come trickling into your life and you're going to have a very interesting time. Whatever decision you make, it's going to bring about a beautiful wildlife experience. You're going to be doing all sorts of things. It's a whole new world over here waiting for you when you make the decision. Look, they're just little symbols of this weird, intricate, unknown land that you would be entering into if you decide to do something that you've been contemplating about. So make sure before you take your winged leap into this new terrain, into your new earth, meaning when you make a decision, you create change in your personal world. Huh. And you're going to do that because you're deciding things all the time. Right now, you're making a decision to watch this video and it's impacting you in a personal way. Now look, it's just simply reminding you that you want to make sure that before you do head into your decision that you look at all the good that could come out of it and that you consider all the other little things you'd be leaving behind. There's some little things here that are going to have to be cast off if you decide to go forward in a certain way. Now, before we leave this card though, let me say this. I want you to know who you really are. You're a spiritual being having a mortal experience. Do you see this in the card? It shows the two parts of our makeup spiritual consciousness or awareness, the spirit, the non-material part of our makeup with the wings, the one that's outside of the world, the one that's outside of the world. Then there is the part of us that lives in the world. Every decision you make creates a new earth, if you will. It creates a new time moment, if you will. It creates the experiences that you're having. So make your decisions and make them based on <laughs> a thoughtful process. You know, some decisions you don't have to think about, right? You just know what the right thing to do is at the right time. Follow your gut, follow your intuition. You just kind of move along and you make sure that if you want to make the best decisions, that you're cultivating the gratitude for what has gotten you to this point so far. Think about this. Before you rush into a decision, 
Look around at the terrain or the personal circumstances that you're involved in right now. Before you get out of a relationship or you get out of a job or you get out of a, anything, make sure that you're not running away from something. No. Leave things on a high note. That's what she's saying here. Opera singer. Leave it on a high note, right? She's saying leave it on a gratitude note. So take stock of all of the golden joyful things like she's doing. She's looking back, taking stock of the joyful things from her current state of affairs. And she's going to think about all the gratitude that is involved from that. Yeah. Think about all the stuff you've been learning from the people that you're in your relationships with. Look at them. Think about all the stuff they've done in order to be helpful to you. Yeah, so what if they did some stuff that wasn't helpful? We're not talking about that. We're not talking about staring at the dark spots of it. We're talking about looking at the golden wing of it. See, there's all that light. There's all that sunlight making up your angel wing. Because you want to move forward on gratitude. Once you are in that clear space of gratitude, see, she's wearing the red dress. Why? Because then you are capable of forming this nice, pure, new root chakra, new material world. When you've got the clarity, that one eye, look at this single eye, single eye clarity that comes from being grateful for what has happened up to this point. And you can do that. Even the things that are a little darker, you can see that they have to be woven together to have made your wing that has carried you this far in that relationship, in that job, in that situation, in any situation that you're in, the people around you, they're not perfect. Eh, they're just being themselves. Find what you can be grateful about, and then you'll be in that position to really wear the red dress of the new reality that you're going to be heading into, that you're going to be heading into. Let's take a closer look then at the new reality. Well, what happens after you make the decision? Brian, what'll happen? Let's find out. Let's look at this one. Why? Because this is duality. So this is the new world you're going to enter into once you make this decision that has been on your heart and mind. The one that you are going to make out of a place of clarity and gratitude, not out of a place of anger and resentment and err, huffity, huff, huff. Don't do it. You'll regret it. Ooh, just relax. Take that breath. Pause and get calm by taking a few slow breaths. That'll help center you and unhook you really from the angry little ouchies. And it'll get you in that clear place where you can then say, okay, let me be grateful. Let me look. I just had to do this with some people in my life. Uh, they rubbed me the wrong way and I was pissed, right? And I was ready to cast them out. And I started to, but then I calmed down and I went in and I thought about all of our past experiences together that were worthwhile because everybody's got them. Even the worst people are good at times. You know this. So I went in and I plucked some of the rays of sunlight from my past experiences with these people. And that helped me to really move from a place of intelligent clarity, love and goodwill. I was able to say no where I needed to, draw boundaries where I needed to, but not in any harshy, harsh way, not in any ill will way. Because when I act out of ill will or resentment or anger, guess who I hurt? Yep. That's why we want to get calm before we make the decision. But you're going to do that and that's good news. And this is what's going to happen when you make that decision. Oh, the flame, look at you rising up into the new pinnacle that you've been hoping for. This is very favorable. It's saying that when you are able to make the decision based on that light, that clear light of gratitude, right? The flame, the gratitude light we talked about, right? There it is right here. See it? The candle light, flame light. Whoosh. When you're able to do that, then you're going to be able to move into a new duality that is, there's the red dress she was wearing, right? Where is that? That's right here. There's a red dress. It's even in the triangular shape of the pinnacle. <laughs> it's so good, these cards. And they're from different decks. Oh, I love it. Look, you're going to be able to move up to that pinnacle. There's your green heart chakra going with it. And there's all the white light coming up. The white light that's coming out of the darkness of your past experience that you're moving out of. When you make a decision, you are, you're moving through time like this arrowhead. Look at you, like this flame moving through time. What are you doing? You're leaving every little past moment behind as you fan the flame that's pushing you forward into the new dimension, into the white light, creating duality anew, creating a new day, creating a new experience. When you make a decision, creating something different in the relationship, something different with the work, something different with your life, something different with how you show up in the world. 
But you're still going to be that flame if you side with the energy and the gratitude, if you side with that angelic wing, wherever that ended up right here, if you really get in tune with being the one that moves on joy before she jumps in and creates a new decision, moves on gratitude, be that flame. Let's take another card. Because I feel like you're all going to be able to do that if you're watching this video. Now look, only the people who are drawn here are here. That's it. And you're one of them. You. Look around. There's a lot more people in the world. And there's not 7 billion views on this card reading, are there? Yet. Ooh. Fertility. Fertility. So, that's what we're talking about is it's a fertile creation of the new reality. There it is. There's the red. And there you are now becoming embodied after you make your decision into this new mix of a variety of experiences that are going to be coming to pass for you. So what are they, you know? They are everything. You're going to get a full spectrum. The good, the bad, the ugly. Doesn't every experience really have some of that in it? So what? We don't care. We love moving forward. We love that it's always fertile. It's always expanding. It's always growth. It's always an uplifting experience, isn't it? It's always this. There she is. That being that is half angel, half mortal, that's you. So you can be grateful to know this. No matter what happens in your world, you're going to be able to keep recreating it over and over and over again with your decisions. That's it. You're a fertile person. Let's look at one more card here. And see what we see. Ooh, what's it going to be? Something to surrender for us. Surrender to complete healing. And what is that? That's when you make a decision and you let go of your old self. You end up in that whole new dimension. There she goes into that white light new space. She's going to end up right there. Right up here on top of this mountain. Complete healing, meaning a complete letting go of who we used to be. And a complete renewal of that blank canvas anything is possible place you don't have to carry any darky dark garbage over with you see she's coming out of the darkness she's going right up into the light here it is again that beautiful flame just remember that the key to all of it where did it go is to cultivate to cultivate that gratitude that's what's going to allow you to really be able to continue to go up 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 and away into your moment to moment changes that we're all a part of. Your whole life is a series of events that are moving forward. There isn't a destination so much as there is a knowing that you are a conscious spiritual being inside of a human's life called you and knowing that whatever you decide and act on is what's forging the way towards a brand new reality that doesn't exist yet. You're making it happen. You're making your future based on the decisions that you come to. And the difference is some people make their decisions and sometimes all of us make our, have made our decisions based on emotional disturbances, anger, resentment, fear. We've made our decisions that way. Or we've made our decisions by getting calm, by getting grateful for what has happened up to this time and realizing that it is a mixed bag in our wings that have risen us towards this present reality and that we can then go into this new realm expecting the best when we move through on a clean, clear heart. That's the way to go, folks. We're going to end this reading right now. And on the way out, we're going to pull this last card just because I'm inspired to. So I'm doing exactly what I'm inspired to do. I always do every moment of the day. And if you claim that that's what you're doing, then you'll notice that it's what you are doing over and over again. The golden crown. And there it is. That explosion, that flame. There's that flame coming up out of her forehead, her third eye, her crown chakra. And she's continuing to go to the new zone each time. She's got her golden crown. She's got her golden wing. Where is that golden wing? We know it's around here somewhere. Brian, find that card for us. She got her golden crown. She's on her golden wing, her joy, her gold that we started off with. She made a decision. The biggest decision you could make is that you are a conscious spiritual being having a limited human experience that keeps changing based on your decisions, based on your decisions. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, leave me a comment, say hello, do whatever. I'll see you soon. Thank you. I appreciate you. Goodbye.